wanted to start off this video by stating its purpose and the reason why I decided to video blog my process for creating internal support for this gown and walking you guys through this particular method that I'm using as well as just along the way offering you some other methods you can use to create support and structure in your gowns. For this particular design, I had to create a very supportive internal structure. As you can see from the illustration, the dress is 100% silk bodice with a lot of lace detail. It's very delicate and dainty, but it also needs to provide the proper support to attractively support her bust size, which is about an HF bra cup size. I decided to use a pre-made bra instead of ordering bra cups. I've done a lot of searching and I've yet to find a true size FH cup inserts. No matter what the description says, it's almost always too small and never provides the proper coverage. I have pretty much fell in love with this brand, especially for large bust clients. They work perfectly, especially this design type. They're smooth, so it doesn't show through, especially since I'm using silk. Also, they come in a variety of really flattering skin tone options. So as you can see on the other side, it provides a lot of support and structure. You have the underwire, you have uh, the boning at the sides. I've already detached the bra extenders. I'm going to show you how to put those back later. And again, it just provides a lot of coverage on both sides. I removed the bra extenders. And um, just kind of giving you an inside glimpse of why I like this bra so much, because it provides you so much coverage because of the color the smoothness. So I created this uh, muslin mock-up of a corset that I'm going to deconstruct to use to add to the bra. So I have my pieces here. I was able to determine what needed to be removed from the muslin mock-up so that I can begin to use these actual pieces that are going to connect to the bra portion of my corset. Okay, I've done this on both sides. You can see some markings that I have to let me know what's going to go where. And this is going to help me when it's time to separate the pieces and make my adjustments. So I have my pins here that I'm going to use. And I'm going to pin the muslin mock-up to the bra itself just so I am sure that I have the necessary alignment. You also want to make sure you get a replacement bra and hook extenders that you're going to use to close up your corset. You also want to make sure it's the same length or about as what you're using to replace on the actual bra itself. So what we use to do to one side, we do to the other. And now I'm just going to go to this side of my bra and do the same thing and uh, pin this to the bottom portion of the bra. Still not cutting anything, just pinning at this juncture to make sure everything is going to be even before we start to cut on the actual fabric. So there it is, it's pinned there. There's still a little bit of extended fabric there, but that's fine. I also wanted to show you guys how I go about deciding what the internal structure is going to look like. So here you see the dress and it has a lot of lace on top of it. It's going to be some sheer illusion parts. We have a silk bodice that we're going to be doing. She wants like a sheer illusion part to the back. But again, we still want to give her the support, but still give her that dainty illusion look. So going to the internal structure of the dress, you can see how I'm sort of mapping out what needs to be done so that she can have the look of illusion, but still get the support she needs. So it basically lets me know how many uh, rows of boning I'm going to need, where the support is going to stop and start, and what it looks like before I actually begin to draft everything together. And I like to do this in any of my dresses that are going to have that internal support. So now I'm going to get into the fabric that I'm going to use to um, rebuild, I would say, this bra so that it fits perfectly with the corset portion. And I'm using this very stretchy sort of uh, material that you normally see in bathing suits or bra making and that it works really well, especially the skin tone, the stretch, the support. And as you can see, if I can just pull this out from here, you can see how well it goes together. Is it an exact perfect match? No, but as far as consistency and stretch, they're very similar. 
And uh, that's why I like to stick to skin tone bras because it's an easier match. And that's what I'm going to be using to create the extensions to the bra and to make sure everything fits together nicely. So that is it for part one. Make sure you stay tuned for part two of this series where I do the internal structure of a dress. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Videos are uploaded weekly covering dressmaking, fashion, lectures, and more. Enroll in Lady Cloth U on Teachable for dressmaking and fashion design courses. See you again soon.